The test Allah gives us to apply to the Quran, we apply to the Bible, whether it is Allah's Kalam. And I'm reading now from the book of Quranicals, first Quranicals chapter 21. It says, And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. Shaitan, he instigated, not the Holy Ghost, Shaitan instigated Dawud to go and take a census of the Jews. That's what the book says. One author of the Bible. There are 40 different authors. One of them say, Shaitan is responsible for Dawud taking a census of the Jews. Another author, 2 Samuel chapter 24 says, And again, the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And he moved David. Lord means God. God moved David. And he moved David against them to say, Go, number Israel and Judah. Who instigated David? One author says, Shaitan, the devil. And the other says, God. And God and Satan are not synonymous terms in any language. Shaitan is Shaitan and Lord is Lord. Who inspired David to do such a thing of numbering, taking a census? Who? God or the devil? They have to make a choice. First Samuel chapter 28 verse 6 says, And when Saul inquired of the Lord, means he wanted no information from God. Lord means God. The Lord did not answer him. Allah didn't answer him. I, neither, either by dreams or by urim or by prophets. He didn't answer him. In the book of Chronicles, 1 Chronicles chapter 10 verse 14, we, say, we are told, but he, Saul, did not inquire of the Lord. First one. The other one says he inquired of the Lord and the Lord didn't answer. First Chronicles 10, 14 says, but he did not inquire of the Lord, therefore he killed him. Therefore God killed him because he didn't ask Allah. Now, you want to know, if brothers, if they want to... One King, chapter 7. And it was an handbreadth thick, and the brim thereof was wrought like the brim of a cup, with flowers of lilies. It contained 2,000 baths. It contained 2,000 baths. Very clear? 2,000 baths. 2 Chronicles, chapter 4, it says, and three, same thing, 3,000 baths. Was it 2,000? The Holy Ghost is inspiring one author to say 2,000 baths he had. The other one, he says, it was 3,000 baths. The difference is only 50%. What was it? 2,000 or 3,000? 2 Chronicles Chapter 9 verse 25 It says, And Solomon had 4,000 stalls of horses In a stable Stable for keeping horses How many? 4,000 In the book of Kings 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 26 It says, And Solomon had 40,000 stalls of horses was it 4 or 40? He said, oh, there's a difference of just a zero. I said, no, no, there's no zero. The Jews didn't know zero. They knew zero about zero when these books were written. They learned it from the Arabs, and the Arabs learned it from my forefathers, the Indians. Zero. Zero, they learned it from the Indians, the Arabs, and they passed it on to Europe. But the Jews didn't know zero. They wrote in words, 4,000, 40,000. They didn't know about zeros. Was it 4 or was it 40? Here is something very simple. Coming to the New Testament. John chapter 18 verse 9. Jesus says that the saying might be fulfilled which he spoke. Words of Jesus. Of those whom you gave me, I have lost none. He's talking about his disciples. God Almighty gave him his disciples. Twelve. He said, of, of those whom you gave me, you means God. O oh Allah, those that you gave me to be my Hawariyun, my disciples, I have lost none. You know what none means? Not one. You understand that? Not one. But just one chapter before, chapter 17 of John, verse 12, we read, While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Those whom you gave me, I have kept. 
and none of them is lost except none of them is lost means not one is lost except the son of perdition that is Judas Iscariot except one the difference between none and one between zero and one you know I offered some people some reward I had 50 pounds with me then and I said anybody can give me in percentage in percentage what is the percentage difference between zero and one I'll give you this and I started with the ladies I said the ladies first preference I know we have been depriving them of that benefit the difference between zero and one how many percent I don't know what Suleiman have you got any money with you <laughs> hundred Quran or whatever is Quran right hundred right here this is hundred krona krona 100 krona the difference between 1 and 0 how many percent between 0 and 1 my sisters first before I give this my brother the chance Wallah it's yours you can buy something for the children the difference in percentage you see between 1 and 2 is 100 percent between 1 and 3 is 200 percent between 0 and 1 how many percent don't be afraid. Don't. This is like uh, talking to your uncle, your father, he wants to give you, you know, he's itching to share this with you. Come on, come on, come on. Between zero and one. How many percent? Zero. Come on now, you. Huh? Who said infinity? This is yours. Go ahead. Thank you. Infinity. It is such a huge difference. It's unimaginable. Between nothing and one. This is unimaginable. Infinite. There's an infinite percentage. Remember that. One day you'll win some quiz. It's infinite. وَيْلٌ لِلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابَ بِأَيْدِيهِمْ ثُمَّ يَقُولُونَ هَذَا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ لِيَشْتَرُوا بِهِ ثَمَنًا قَلِيلًا فَوَيْلٌ لَهُمْ مِمَّا كَتَبَتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَوَيْلٌ لَهُمْ 